Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here. Uh, answer to a question submitted by a student. We're going to take a look at this from a couple of different viewpoints. We have, first of all, we have pi over 2 is less than theta. It's less than 3 pi over 4. That's what's given to us. I just want to rewrite this in terms of fourths. So this is 2 pi over 4 less than theta less than 3 pi over 4. OK, so if we think about the unit circle, This is 2 pi over 4. And this up here is going to be 3 pi over 4. So the angle that we're interested in has over four. So this is our angle of interest right here. Somewhere in here. Let's draw a triangle for this. Here's our right triangle. And we know that the tangent of this is negative one. And we know the tangent of this, because this is uh, 0, 1 here, this endpoint here, right here. So tangent is sine of cosine, so it's undefined. Uh, so, but if you just look at the triangle here, I think you can guess that rise over run, the rise is going to be bigger than the run when you're in this uh, part of the unit circle. So tangent is rise over run. And in this case, where we are with the green, the rise is going to be bigger than the run. So this is going to be greater than 1, the absolute value here because the tangent is negative here. So the only thing that's negative with an absolute value bigger than 1 is negative 8. The way you could go here is you would just go on the calculator and you'd find the tangent. Oh, let me just change color here. You could go on, find the tangent of, we want, let's say, 2.5 pi over 4. To get something, this roughly, this is where we are with the green in the calculator. So we'll get this tangent 2.5 pi over 4. Sorry, I typed that in wrong. Let me do it again. 2.5 second pi over 4. So I get negative 2.41. <clears throat> Let me go fix this. We're interested in the absolute value of tangent here. So you can see that the absolute value value of tangent is rise over run. Here the rise is quite positive, <clears throat> fairly tall, positive number. The run is a small negative, uh, small in magnitude negative number. So the magnitude of the rise over the magnitude of the run is greater than one.
and here you could see the magnitude here is 2.41 so this is the only thing that makes sense um, now the other way to look at this and you may not have studied this in school yet is just what the what the graph of the tangent looks like and it has asymptotes at uh, negative pi over 2 positive pi over 2 and we're going to need another asymptote here three pi over two and uh, so we're we're actually we're we're interested in this part of the uh, graph so it just looks like this there and then the center point here is going to be pi or 2 pi over 2 and it looks like this and we just got finished saying that uh, 2 pi over 2 is the same thing as 4 I'm sorry, that's, yeah, it's 4 pi. We're interested in 3 pi over 4 to 2 pi over 4, 3 pi. And so we're interested in this. And you can see that this part, so this is the, change colors again. This is the region that we're interested in. And you can see that it's negative. So you know it's going to be either negative 8 or negative 1 over 8. And another thing that you're going to learn here, you might not have learned, is that uh, this is going to be at negative 1, roughly halfway in. So we're just going to move that much further, and it's going to be, you can see that it's going to get uh, to be very value here. The, positive, the absolute value is going to get bigger and bigger. So that's another way to do it. Um, it's just a matter of preference here. You can either use a uh, unit circle or you can use your knowledge of the graph of the tangent line. Uh, and that's about it, tangent function rather. So it's, it's kind of an annoying problem. It's annoying to do it by hand. Obviously, the easiest thing to do is just pick a value that's between these two endpoints here and then pop that into the calculator and see what you get. Okay, that's it. I hope it was helpful to you. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.